this video, I'm going to talk about how to draw accurate angles on AutoCAD. Now, we know that if we have our ortho mode turned on, that when we draw, we can control our lines and make them perfectly horizontal and vertical. And that's simple enough, and it's a great way to control your lines. And also know that one thing you can do to draw lines is to do offsets. So I can offset two lines there and then just connect those lines and that'll create an angle. That's fine when you have a such oops, you have a situation where you have I mean honestly I would just use a chamfer tool on that. Um, that's fine for that limited kind of scenario, but what if you want to draw accurate lines? I want to draw a line that's at 25 degrees. So I would pick a point and now how do I get it to do that? One thing I could do is turn off my ortho, but still how do I control that? Now if you look close, you'll see that uh, the tracking will show you the length of the line. It'll also show you the angle. Uh, and we could you know, attempt to just move the cursor around, but that's not a very practical way to draw a line. So let's say I wanted to draw a line that's five inches long. So I would type five. Now don't hit enter, hit tab. And notice the angle box is highlighted and now type in angle let's say it's 35 degrees and then hit enter now that line right there is going to be five inches long it's going to be exactly at the angle of 35. let's just draw another line here so we have a reference uh, now when you if you want to force an angle to be dim uh, dimension to be an angular dimension if you just come over here to this box and click on angular that'll make it do it. You don't have to do that all the time. It's pretty smart. And you can see it tells you exactly what the angle is. And if I wanted to know the length of this line, it's going to tell you that that's five. So again, that operation works like this. Ortho is turned off. Click on line. Click the first point and then type in the length of the line. Let's say we want that to be 10. Don't hit enter though. Hit tab. And let's say I wanted it to be a 55 degrees. 55 and then enter. So the first thing I enter is the distance or the length of the line, tab, and then the angle, and then hit enter. So let me show you now. That's simple enough. What's going to happen though is you're going to have angles in different quadrants. Now as long as you're in the, you know, if we think traditionally, I think we would call that the first quadrant up in here, so between zero and 90. In that case, you would just type in the angle. You type in the distance, hit the tab key, type in the angle. So if it's like I did an earlier one, five, tab, 35. 35 is less than 90, so it's gonna put you in this quadrant. But if you're over in this quadrant, you have to pay close attention because it's gonna be Angles greater than 90 and less than 180 are going to be over here. Angles between 180 and 270 are here, between 270 and 360. Now, to AutoCAD, to the right is always zero. So here's some examples when I'm in the first quadrant. It's always going to go counterclockwise. So a 90 degree angle would go that way. 180 would go that way. 270 goes that way. So that's the only way AutoCAD understands an input you're putting an angle into it, it has to be starting point is zero. We'll see how that works here in a minute. So here's a couple of examples. So in this one, I have this angle of, I have a line that's 3.04 long and it's at a 63 degree angle. That's in the first quadrant. So I just have to type in 3.04, tab 63, and then hit enter. And it'll draw that line between A and B. That's the easiest one. Now here I'm moving up into the second quadrant because remember straight up and down would be 90 degrees. And this angle here is 110. The length of the line is 2.1. So I would have to type in 2.1, tab 110, enter. And that's going to draw that line from A to B. Again, that's greater than 90. So it's going to put it over here in the second quadrant. So 
So here's another one. I'm drawing this little triangle, and it is going to be 120 degrees. But let's say when you look at the triangle, all you see is, so this is dimensioned off of the vertical of 30 degrees. The length of the line is 3. So if you typed in 3 tab 30, it's going to draw a line over here because it's less than 90. So you say, well, I'm looking at it, it says 30. Yeah, but that's 30 off of the vertical, not 30 off of this horizontal over here. So you'd have to add 90 plus 30 to be 120. So now you're going to type in 3 tab 120. Again, if it's less than 90, it's going to put it over here. So if you were to type in 3 tab 30, the line's going to go up in this direction. So pay attention to which quadrant you're in. Another example here, this one is, um, so we have this line that's 1.6 long, and it's labeled as being 71 degrees right here. Now we know if I type in 1.6 tab 71, that's going to draw a line up here in the first quadrant because it's less than 90. So what I need is the angle that goes from here all the way over to there. So I take 180 minus 71, it'd be 109. So I would, not, I just noticed I put 1.9. You're supposed to put in 1.6 tab 109, and that would give you this line from A to B. Again, if you type in 71, it's going to be in this direction. The software would only understand angles starting here. So I need the angle all the way over there. And I apologize for that. It should be 1.6, not 1.9. Here's another one. It's a little bit trickier. So here's uh, this AB. Now I know this angle here. I'm trying to draw a line AB, and I know this angle down here, 75. So you really have to think about this. Now, you, hopefully you remember from math a thing called the Z rule. So if you think about a Z that goes here, here, here. So that way, that way, that way. <clears throat> if that's 75, that would also be 75. So what I need is this angle here. It comes all the way from here and goes all the way around. And that angle is going to be 180 plus 105. The 105 is 180 minus 75, right? So I would have to type in 3.5 tab 285, 180 plus 105. That one's, that's a little bit tricky. One thing that I can tell you that is helpful is if you um, think about Wherever you have a corner, if you're trying to draw an angle, you could physically think about this origin being at that corner and label this as zero. And then it'll help you to remember that the angle I need to draw this line, I need the angle that comes all the way around counterclockwise from that zero point to there. And that that um, is like that example that I just showed you a second ago. Again, we have to come all the way around this way, type in that length and that angle, because that angle is actually ends up being greater than 270. So the key is this little diagram right here. And remember that the process is distance, tab, angle, then hit enter. You have to resist the urge to hit enter after you put in the distance, and that will allow you to draw an angle. And you can actually have your ortho on when you're doing this. Uh, it'll override. If you do this, it'll override. But I just typically turn my ortho off. So hopefully that helps you with drawing accurate angles.